So guys, let's quickly talk about couplic spots. And these couplic spots are basically some spots that you actually see them in measles. Right? And people that have measles, some people call it some people call it couplic spots, some people call it couplic spots. It's still the same thing. Alright? So um mostly you find couplic spots in the buccal cavity. Alright, so you can see all these couplic spots, you see all the spots. Alright, all the spots, all the spots is um, what you actually find in the buccal cavity, right? So uh, this is basically like dentistry, right? But as a medical student, as an MBBS student, you basically do everything. Dentistry, pharmacy, nursing, medical lab, name everything, right? You have to do everything, you have to have knowledge of all uh, the individual word. Um, professional professionals okay so now let's talk about couplic spot briefly i will say that what couplic spots are small white and they are green like lesions that appear on the inside of the mouth okay and these couplic spots are hallmark sign of measles that means what if you see something is a hallmark that means okay this thing tends to actually what establish that okay this person has measles if you say that anything is a hallmark of any disease condition, that means what? Once you see that thing, you don't need to think twice. The person actually has that disease condition, all right? So here are some key points you should know about couplic spots. They are mostly found in the buccal mucosa, opposite to the molar, upper molar tooth. That's where you must find them, okay? But they can spread, all right? But you must find them at that point. That's basically like where they start, okay? Then appearance... I was millimetric, they are eridomatous, uh, they are, their color could be blue, white, or gray speck. Okay, so you say this one is kind of like gray. Right, this one is kind of like gray. Okay, in duration, they can persist for about what, two to three days. After they appear, they can persist for like two to three days. Important, they are regarded as what? Pathognomonic of measles. And they are seen in about what, 50 to 70% of patients. With measles. Okay, so this is what a couplic spot looks like. Couplic spot, some people call it couplic spot. Anyone? So, timing now, uh, mostly they would appear about 24 hours before you start having the external rashes. You know that most measles um, patients they have all those external rashes on their chest, on their hands, on their faces, on their everywhere. Do you understand? But before you have these external rashes, the couplic spot must have appeared in your buccal cavities. Okay, so um, they appear 24 hours before the external rash. Other locations, that's why I told you guys, they can be found in the buccal cavity, but couplic that's mainly where they are found. Okay, but couplic spots can also be found in other regions of the body. All right, so that's why we we'll talk about other locations. We said that they can also appear. On the conjunctiva fold, on the soft palate, on the vagina, or the intestinal mucosa. All right. So talking about the diagnosis now, we said that diagnosis for couplic spots is typically made with true physical examination of the mouth and throat. Of course, you can see it. You know that couplic spots could be grain-like, could be white, could be gray, could be white, blue. You understand? So once you see it, you pick it up. All right. So treatment now. Treatment of couplic spot involves managing the symptoms of the underlying measles infection because the underlying measles infection is what is causing the couplic spot. So you can't treat couplic spot directly. You have to tackle the disease condition that is causing couplic spots. Once you tackle that disease condition and you win, then couplic spots will disappear. Right? So couplic spot is not like a disease condition. Couplic spot is basically like a symptom. All right, a symptom of another disease condition. Not really a symptom, that's a sign. Because most of the times, the patient will not be able to know that they have couplic spot. They don't even know what is couplic spot, all right? So you now, when you examine, you see a spot there, you know that it's couplic spot, right? So it's a sign, all right? Meaning it is something you have to see by yourself. All right, so this is it. Um, we said that as soon as the skin rash is developed, the couplic spots will disappear. That means... The couplic spots are like preparing the way for skin rashes. All right. So couplic spots do not appear in German measles 
Public spots are commonly seen in the mucosa of the cheeks and lips as a small bluish white speck surrounded by a bright red margin or you could say they are like a grain of rice on an erythromatous base. Okay. So complications of measles include encephalitis and thrombocytopenia purpura. Alright, so guys, that's it about what we call the coptic spot or the coptic spot. Basically, what definition and characteristics. Okay, that's it, guys, and bye for now.